Hi, welcome to the Van Wagon. My name is Amia Thompson. This is Erin Hunton, and we're with Wesley Bell, and we're here today with Corey Wright, who's um, a pitcher for Boston State um, baseball team. Hi, Corey. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Thanks I'm for having me good. on. No, no of course. Yes. Um, so, Corey, why don't you just start off by just telling us a little bit about yourself and how you got here? Gotcha. Uh, well, I'm from Chicago. Um, it's kind of an interesting story how I got here. We'll get into that a little bit later. Um, transferred, kind of been all around uh, the country playing baseball. Alrighty, Corey, so um, the next set of questions here is going to be uh, our music-based questions. What is something that you listen to uh, pre-game while you're in the locker room, maybe with headphones, or maybe, you know, in the locker room with all the guys, or something that really gets you, uh, get your mind right for the games? We had a couple. Um, so, I've always had, since my freshman year in high school, I always listened to Real Estate by Wiz Khalifa before um, games, because it used to be my walk-up, and it kind of just got me in the zone getting ready. But uh, lately I've been on a Kevin Gates kick. Okay. And uh, I like Fall Down by him and Moneybag. All right. Sweet. Um, what is, if you had to pick a walk-up song, what is one that you would definitely go with? Uh, I like, right now, probably Cinderella Man by Eminem. Okay. I think that's kind of fitting for everything that's happened. Right. So. Um, and lastly, if you were in charge of the Ox yep. after a big win, you just swept the number one team in the country, what's the number one song you're putting on the, on the stereo? Oh, that's no question. Do me, XO Hottie. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Hey. We like that. Yeah. We like that. Yeah. We like that. Yeah. All right, sweet. So, uh, Corey, can you uh, give us a little background about how you just got here to Valdosta State, kind of your story throughout baseball? Yeah. So, um, grew up playing in Illinois, obviously. Um, my dad was a big influence on uh, baseball. I mean, he was a coach um, for many years, coached a um, couple of state championship teams and was blessed to have uh, some big leaguers on those teams, um, which is pretty cool. But um, he kind of just got me to fall in love with the game since, you know, I could honestly, I know it sounds kind of corny, but ever since I could pick up a bat, I was thinking baseball. So. Um, Got started playing in travel tournaments and got scouted, recruited. Uh, went to Kansas State my freshman year. Um, things kind of didn't go the way they were supposed to. A couple coaches ended up leaving and uh, the majority of my class transferred out. And then so from there I went to junior college, went to Parkland College in Illinois. Uh, played well there, got recruited by Mercer, so I ended up in Georgia. And then um, from there I went from there, uh, I, uh, I got injured there. I tore my PCL and I herniated a disc in my low back. So it was not the greatest thing to happen, especially coming in, you know, expecting hopefully to only be there for one year and um, had to have surgery. And I wasn't supposed to come back from surgery until mid-April. And I came back and played the first game and didn't do very well that season and at the end of the year um, coaches were like just saying like when you get healthy like it'll things will click all this and then I get a call three weeks before school supposed to start let's say you know you're on a lot of money we don't have money for a guy that's injured you're not the same player type thing so that's kind of where my motivation comes from but right. that's how I ended up at Valdosta because I knew um, Berg, our pitching yeah. coach, and that's what I was talking about earlier. But yeah, so he gave me a shot and just excited to keep playing. Yeah, man, it's a good, good testimony. So uh, yeah. hopefully just keep persevering through. But um, yes, sir. Uh, just looking kind of after baseball, what are your what are your uh, aspirations? Uh, I want to go into business. That's what my degree is. But um, kind of nearing the end of my career and kind of seeing the writing on the wall, I think uh, it's going to be tough for me to give up being at the field and stuff. I think I'm going to want to coach and be able to impact um, guys the way, you know, my great coaches have. So. Sure. Awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you for being on the show with us, and uh, thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you next time.